All right. Hey, peeps. Um, this is Doom RL or DRL or Doom the Roguelike. I think Bethesda was like uh, 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 at some point and um, it had to be officially renamed to DRL to kind of remove the Doom branding, which it doesn't because um, the Doom branding still is kind of in here, as you can see. Uh, but like it's gone from like the website and everything else. So uh, I guess that's how that works. So this is a thing that has been around forever. This is Doom the Roguelike. This is Doom in roguelike form. Uh, I remember playing this way back, like... E I don't even want to know how much time ago that was. A decade ago or something like that, when uh, there wasn't yet like a graphics set for the game. The game now has a graphic set, so I'm playing this for the first time in about that time. And for the first time with the graphics set and with everything else that might have changed and I have no idea about the game anymore. I have no clue, right? Like I've basically forgot everything, which is cool. Uh, that's always good when that happens. So I'm basically going into this without any idea what's going on, which is good because that's how I live my life. So we're going to start a new game here. And we have a difficulty selection, which is kind of, uh, you know, that's kind of the, the Doom difficulties. I think that's all of the Doom difficulties indeed. And they don't work as they do in Doom, I think. I think you're kind of supposed to do them in order, something like that. So we're going to start on the lowest just to get kind of my bearings in the game. And uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how that works out. So uh, it feels weird picking this difficulty. I don't know when I've ever done that in actual Doom, but uh, here we go. So I'm too young to die. We can play as a Marine, as a Scout or as a Technician. So we have a class selection here. Masters of Equipment and Tinkering, consumables almost instantly and hack computer maps for tracking data, okay. Scouts are agile and have the best intel. 10% faster and inherently know the location of stairs on any given level. That's cool marines um, resilient and hardy more health points and power-ups have a plus 50 percent duration bonus okay i think we're gonna you know i don't know how long we're gonna play on if i if i notice that i'm too young to die it's way too easy uh, we're gonna switch to higher difficulties i'm not sure how the difficulty works in this but uh, we're gonna see again i'm just kind of getting my bearings in this right now i don't actually think i like difficulty selections in roguelikes I think I prefer when a roguelike is just the game, and that's it. I like the different modes in something like Caves of Cud, for example, where you can play as a, you know, like wonder mode where you don't actually have to fight, stuff like that. I think this is cool, but sort of like incremental difficulty settings I don't think work that well in roguelikes, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird about that. Maybe they should be in here, but it stresses me out because I don't know what kind of difficulty I want to be playing at. Uh, oh, whatever. Marine. Um, and now we pick a trait, which are kind of like perk things, I guess. You're a diehard piece of shit. Uh, yeah, okay. Every level of this trait increases your health by 20% of your starting HP. Okay. Itchy trigger, trigger finger. Okay, so we can shoot faster. Uh, we can move faster, Hellrunner. Extra 15% chance of dodging, which is nice. Tough as nails. Uh, skins are, you shrug off one more point of damage for every level of this trait. Okay, so this is, mm hmm son of a b. Uh, this is meanest, toughest bastard. You do one more damage than your average marine. Okay, son of a gun is pistols. Okay. You can find them 20% further and deal one more damage. That's neat. Re reloaded. You can reload your gun faster. Okay, that's cool. Eagle eye. I think that's gonna be... Yeah, I think the stuff like the shotgun, I remember... I think you had to reload that after every shot, but I don't really, really remember anything, so I don't know. Knock a fly, eagle eye. That's uh, increase your chance to hit by two points. I like that. Brute is for that's our berserk marine, huh? Melee accuracy, okay. Badass. 
lot of enemies are gonna have guns like the former humans stuff like that so maybe we don't really want to go for melee for the time being ultimate badass maximum health before dk sets in is 50 percent higher so it does the quake thing right where uh-huh i don't know should we do eagle eye chance to hit higher i think that would be good we're gonna shoot a lot of guns uh type a name for your character what's the doom marine the doom guy called we're gonna be biff for some reason that has minimized the game okay the trip was long marine's job so we are going to the uac facility in on phobos i guess i think that's how doom works i think this is just bloodbath more gunshots okay we've got a bit of story here story story in the john carmack sense i guess um and here we go right so we are on mars i think this is like the surface i guess and this plays like a roguelike see <laughs> like this is a roguelike as roguelike and uh this is pretty old school like this has been around for a long time i think this is originally actually like a command line roguelike also fun fact those tiles here that uh, i was surprised to notice were made by uh derek yu who is the creator of spelunky which is kind of awesome and uh, there's a pistol we already have a pistol we're going to keep using that and let's explore this right so there, there's the facility faci the facility in the middle so let's quickly scan the perimeter okay there's not much going on here um this is open this is also open oh yeah there's a guy okay you know, this is very Doom. Hear the sound? Do I have... Uh, oh, Christ. Until... Yeah, okay, this is on. This works. Ah. Hi, desktop. Here we go. Um, okay, please. Gain back focus. I don't have... A... Why can't I move anymore? What the hell has happened? Controls. For some reason, my num block doesn't work anymore. Not after I've unknown command, but this is not. Um, okay, we're well, off to a rough start here. Uh, okay, let's try this again. What did we do, Eagle Eye? Right. Biff two. <laughs> I don't know. That's just a clone facility for Doom Marines. Okay, now this works. I don't know what that was. I should probably not all tab out of the game. How about that? Okay. Uh, so yeah. We have an equipment screen. We have armor, boots. I don't know what prepared is. Um, and a weapon. This is very like stripped down in terms of sort of roguelike stuff, but I like it. There's a resistance thing. Well, let's torso. Okay, we have resistances on the torso and the feet and also general i don't know exactly how that works we have an inventory we have two small med packs the med packs are actually i think you collect them and you use them when you know it's more heretic rules than doom rules i guess and we have some ammo we have 40 bullets and uh, there's like a magazine magazine size here so six out of six after six shots we need to reload uh, not Doom rules. You don't reload Doom weapons, but this has it. It makes sense, right? It's kind of its own thing. It's Doom themed, obviously. And uh, it also has the music by Bobby Prince in it. Okay. Since we have Eagle Eye, we're probably pretty good at keeping enemies at distance. Okay, we're just. Oh, there's a shotgunner. Can we wait? Are you gonna show yourself? Uh, they are not completely dumb. Oh Christ, this is way too close because... Oh yeah, knock them back. Yes, good. Let's get that shotgun. And you can actually like quickly swap weapons like in a shooter, like in Doom. So let's... 
Oh yeah, that's the shotgun. There we go. Some nice gore effects. Uh, okay, there's another guy. Oh, I need to be more careful. That was not good. That was very much not good. Okay. Uh, so we have 67% health. We have a few health packs. Uh, we're just going to continue. You shiver from cold. We're in Phobos level 2. So this is a, like, this is a quick kind of roguelike, as you can see. Right? Like, everything moves rather quickly. Like, the levels are not that large. Okay, shotgun. Okay, so we have stacks of 100 for... Uh, that's pistol and probably chain gun ammo. And this is shotgun shells. So we need to probably kind of uh, not overflow our inventory. I don't know, there might be, there's probably like a, there's probably an inventory limit in this. Let's see. So there's like these health globes, which you might know from Doom, but they work a little differently in this game. You collect them and they just instantly, use them instantly, but they are not just like one point increments. Nice, okay, good. Maybe I'm too young to die is a little too easy. We should probably start on a higher difficulty, actually. Okay, that was an explosive barrel. Even though there was no nukage in it. That's okay, so there's stairs down here, nice. We're gonna keep exploring. I'm not sure, there doesn't seem to be like a food clock or anything in here. So... I don't know. Can we blow this up? Yes, we can. The explosions are also pretty big. Um, and this is like an RPG thing, right? Like it's an RPG-ish roguelike. Okay, that's a teleporter. Okay. True to Doom, the shotgun is actually kind of a mid-range weapon. So... Okay, there's red stairs. Is that like a special kind of level? I don't know. Okay. Former human dies. Very good. I hear an imp. That's like the telltale, telltale imp sound. Oh yeah, there's something here. Oop. No, that's just more ammo. We have a lot of ammo. I don't think we should pick up any more shotgun shells. For the time being. Should we just go down here? Let's go down here. What's this? Hell's Arena. Very foolish, uh, very brave. Blood, blood, blood. The voice. Kill all enemies and I shall reward thee. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of horde mode stuff. The crowds cheer, cheer, blood, blood. Okay. That was a lost soul. And there's a demon. Ooh. You advance to level 2. Okay, and we can pick another trait. Nice, okay. Uh, Eagle Eyes, maybe not that great if you use a shotgun, but whatever. Finesse. Oh, we have a new one here. I think Badass? No. Oh, these require other ones. So do we have one? This requires Eagle Eye, Intuition. So we can actually make kind of a build here over time, which is nice. Let's see, evaluate levers and sense power-ups. Let's just send monsters. Should we just... Let's just continue with that. Let's just do that, I guess. Okay, that's a... Lost Soul. And we got hit by the Lost Soul. Because they charge you. Like they do in Doom. Ooh. Ah, I need to reload. Okay, yeah, I see how this goes. Definite combat tactics that need to be employed here. Uh, let's use a med pack. Here we go. All right. Again, this is essentially... I've played a bunch of this. Like, almost like a decade ago. However... Uh, is there any more enemies here? Do I need to... Oh, yeah. It will just spawn them in. Ah. Okay, kill, kill. You hear scream more blood, more blood. I can now let you go free. Complete the challenge. Let's continue the fight, why not? So we're probably going to have progressively harder enemies. I don't know. 
Let's see. Oh, there's a chain gun here. Nice. Uh, we're probably going to use the chain gun. Where's the chain gun? There's the chain gun. That might be, like, as an eagle eye, that might be more my kind of thing. Probably got. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, probably about picking your weapons right. Oh. There's a caco. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that and that. I'm not. I don't know much about combat tactics yet in this. Uh, let's see. Okay. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Shit. Okay. Yeah, having to reload when they are right in your face is an issue. Okay. Give us more reward. Uh, let's not continue for now. But we now know what this is. So that's okay. Uh, that got us a few med packs. I think that was the reward, I guess. I guess. Okay. Um, that's the stuff that we have. I think I'm going to use another small med pack right now. And let's go down. Level 3. Oh, shoot. Okay. Definitely always need to have our weapon loaded, locked and loaded, and proceed with caution. Hey, Frowny Frog. Search the map again, just in case. Yeah, I'm not, like, this is my first run, essentially. Again, I've played the game like a decade ago, but I remember nothing of it. So this is just the, hey, let, let me get my bearings run in a way okay don't expect to get far with this with chain gun there it is oh, yeah that's nice i think the chain gun oh yeah that's a berserk pack you need to taste blood okay so that kind of a trade-off in this where you if you get the berserk you actually have to punch enemies not sure. Okay, there's an imp. Let's try that. Okay, you need to taste blood. There's a lever there. How do I... How do I actually activate a lever? Controls. Walking around. Wait. Go downstairs. Pick up item. Okay, and you also cannot go back. Yeah, show inventory. Equipment. Also, hi, Frowny Frog. Alternative fire, open door, close door, use item from inventory is you. Or pull lever, you can also do that. Okay. No, if I do it here. Oh yeah. There's a lever here. Can I not use the lever? I thought that did it. It does say it does say pull lever. Can you Nothing happens. Okay, I think that was maybe the lever. It just doesn't do anything. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. Now let's get the health globe. We have a... Oh. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's pretty good for you, though eagle eye stuff so don't need to reload all that often we can just kind of snipe things level three awesome and we could continue with eagle eye should i do that how about i just do that what else do we have that's finesse yeah blocks yeah there's definitely some stuff going on here is there something where we need have the snails. Yeah. There's a lot of sort of build stuff that you can do here. Trigger happy. Should we get intuition? Value levers and sense power. Let's just try that and see what happens. Okay, we have some armor, which is good. Let's equip that. Be 
feel relatively safe now. Okay. That means probably that we've killed everything on this level. Okay. Let's go down. Phobos level 4. So we're going to shoot this to do some... Oh dear. That did not work. Um, it's not that effective against the demons. Demons are more like a shotgun thing, but we need to be careful not to be caught in melee. I guess. Okay. Alright. Good. They will at least give us copious amounts of uh, bullet ammo and a small health globe. Okay. Wow. Okay. I do think I want to play this on harder difficulties. Oh. Okay, that actually did hit. Interesting that they can drop uh, those armor pieces. Let's equip that instead. As a lever neutral. Oh! That lever exploded a whole bunch of stuff. I guess that's what that does. I don't know what neutral means. A neutral position? I don't know. What's that? A teleport. Oop. I've activated the mouse, which I don't. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yanked away. Here we go. Yeah. So that's just a basic teleporter. Okay, there's a better blue armor. So. Ah, you know what? Let's keep with that. I guess when it goes below 50%, it just works as... A, I think it just works as a green armor. As another... Oh, beneficial. That's what it does. Okay, cool. Let's try this. Your armor looks better. Ah, that repaired my armor. Interesting. Okay, it does it a few times and then it's gone. Okay, weird. So levers are not just mechanisms in the level. It also does other, other stuff. I think the one, the other lever there, it just exploded every barrel. Okay, I stood on the acid. Not a good idea, probably. Alright. Okay. Okay. I get it. <laughs> I don't know. It was cool. So, um, the reason why I'm playing this is on my last stream, uh, someone in chat talked about Jupiter Hell, which is the next game from this developer. And I don't own Jupiter Hell. Oh jeez, that was bad. I did some, I did a bad job there. Talk about Jupiter, I don't own Jupiter Hell and I would need to buy it and I'm not in a game buying sort of uh, situation right now. So I thought, hey, that just made me want to try this again. I do want to play Jupiter Hell at some point, but uh, for now, I'm just going to play a little bit of Doom RL. I'm not sure whether I'm going to really stick with this. It is fun, but it's more like a diversion right now. And I'm kind of more into Zorbis right now. And obviously Case of Cud. Uh, it's gonna happen. We're gonna do episode 500 of Caves of Curd. Okay, there's something... That looked like a cacodemon thing. Ooh. Ooh. That's a bunch of med packs. Yeah. This might be actually a little bit too easy. Like, I'm, play I'm playing really sloppily here. Another neutral lever. Does this just... Will this just explode everything? It will. I should pro I should not. I should not do that. Um, let's equip the other blue armor, I guess, and we're gonna drop that one. Okay. All right. Yeah, the lever just explodes every barrel on the map. There's a teleporter. Oh, that's a rocket. That might be useful for later. Getting a rocket launch us at some point. Like, this is really cool. Like, I'm kind of a... I like Doom. I like playing Doom. 
and I like playing roguelikes, and this is kind of... Oh, light M goggles just increase our, our sight radius. Nice. Okay. Um, oh, there's a chain gunner. Ooh, a former captain is what they are called here. I think that's a... That's an alternate name for the chain gunners. I usually just call them chain gunners. And that gave us a full magazine here, which is nice. Okay. Okay, you feel relatively safe now. That means we have... Sort of... What did I pick up? What was that earlier? Don't remember. It was the thing here that I picked up. Okay, we have another red stairs. The chained court. Okay, let's go there. Oh, there's a chainsaw. Blood blood, god of blood. You need to taste blood. So this is a chainsaw berserk now? Okay. Uh, that's kind of fun. Okay, we cannot... We cannot shoot. Okay. Which is maybe not great for our health. I mean, let's go through and chainsaw everybody, I guess. Oh, that sounds like a caco demon. It's kind of fun how you... In melee. We can only do melee here, apparently. Um. Oh, yeah, hello. Oh, that's bad. Uh, okay, I think we should use one of those large med packs. Here we go. You're fully healed. Oh well, and that was the Kako Demon. Let's pick up another Berserk. Keep chainsawing, I guess. So we're gonna get rid of the former humans that are around here, and then we're gonna open one of these things. Probably heal up before we open one of them, I guess. Okay, there's another exit here, okay. We should probably... There's gonna be cacos in there. We should probably fight a caco while in Berserk. I think that might be a better idea. Yeah. There we go. Oops. No. Is that it? Do we destroy everything? No? Okay. Let me take a quick... Oh, I know. Hey, buddy. Yeah, there's more for me humans. Do they just respawn? What's this? Technical mod pack. Okay. Well, we can do something with our weapons doing that? I don't know. I don't know. Let me check this out. Technical mod pack and a power mod pack. Increase ve weapon da damage or armor protection. Fire time for weapons, armor knockback. Okay. Should probably we should probably use that on our chain guns. Chain gun, rather. Okay. And we do keep the 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 Yeah, we do keep the chainsaw. Um It's interesting that this has boots. But okay. Power mod pack. Uh weapon. So now we have a stronger chain gun, I guess. Chain gun plus one or something. Okay. Uh, and let's use both on, on it, I guess. Weapon. Can't be modified anymore with this mod. Okay. Ah, okay. What's that? Computer map. Let's get that. What do we have here? Large health globe. Nice. One of these. Do we have enough room in our inventory? I don't know. Ah, whatever. We're gonna see. Chain gunner. Okay. Armor shard. That repairs our armor. Yes, it does. Uh, There's a lot of ammo. We can't. And, yeah. We don't have enough room in our backpack. Uh, I get it. Let's drop a few of these shotgun shells. Let's drop a few of these shotgun shells. Okay, thank you. Oh, is that a... That's a double shotgun. Neat. Uh, I, th I think with the build that we have, we should be... ...continuing to use our chain gun, probably. 
Hmm, another blue armor. Okay. We're level four. Nice. Let's get another one into Eagle Eye. Let's repair the armor. Nice. Bulk mod pack. Let me check this. Bulk mod weapon. Let's try this. High power weapon. Chain gun. You use. Okay. Cool. It has less ammo. High power chain gun. Ah. Cool. Okay. I guess that's what we're going to be using for the time being. Okay. Good. Another thing here. Phase device. Do we just teleport? Yeah. Okay. I see. I see how that works. Alright. Okay. Let's see. We have way too much ammo. I don't know why I keep picking this stuff up. All right. Yeah, I think the the lowest difficulty is maybe a little too easy. It's probably going to get harder, but uh, oh dear, hello. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this just invites sloppy play. Let's blow this up. Okay, um, we've got the large, oh, we don't have any room, uh, so let's, <coughs> jeez, oh, okay, that snuck up on me, let's drop that, let's get this, let's get this, okay, does this has a, does this has, Jesus Christ, yeah. Does this have a door? It does. There might be... You know what? This might be something for the double shotgun. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, there's a rocket launcher here. Oh, oh, oh. And a better pistol, I guess. Combat pistol. Nice. And a rocket launcher. Yeah, we don't have enough room. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to drop my normal pistol. Three D three. Okay. Uh, let's drop that shotgun. Double shotgun. Where is it? Plasma rifle. How can you actually equip? So we need to do this like that. Huh. Okay. Let's get the rocket launcher too. Because why not? Combat pistol. I don't know what the deal is with those purple weapons, but we're gonna see. Supercharge, nice. There's another red stairs. There's a lot of these. Okay, we might want to be using the chainsaw, uh, chain gun instead. Yeah. I part chain gun. That's probably better. Um, chainsaw. We're gonna keep that if we need it for some melee action. We have a double shotgun. You know what? I'm going to drop this too. I'm going to keep the double shotgun for ranged stuff. Uh, for like, for like short range stuff. We should probably keep the uh, the rocket launcher. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna drop this. Yeah, let me drop this. Might be a bad idea. I don't know. That's another phase device. Homing phase device. I don't know what that means. Okay. All right, that is a dangerous lever, so I should probably not use it, right? Just oh, fuck me. Okay, uh huh. Okay, we should not use dangerous levers. <laughs> I mean, oh, combat shotgun and an agility mod pack. Should we just keep modding our chain gun if that works? Let's try it. A weapon cannot do that anymore. Okay. What if we do it with our armor? Let's 
So agility mod pack armor. Okay, it's agility modified now. And a technical mod pack armor. Ballistic armor. Sure, let's do that. Ballistic blue armor. Definitely need to keep that in shape and not lose it. Okay. All right. Let's go down. Phobos anomaly. Oh shit, I, I think I picked the wrong stairs. I did not pick the red ones. Oh, red armor. Okay, maybe I should not have modified the other one. Well, such it goes. <laughs> Uh, I guess we're gonna use the red armor for now. Let's get the rockets, because we might have to do some rocket launching. Yeah, let's try that, I guess. Are we gonna have to fight the, the barons? This is definitely the Bruiser Brothers music. Oh yeah, hello. Oh yeah, that's the barons. This is fun. The need to reload after each shot is a little, it's a little rough, but it's a, it's a decent trade-off, I guess. Okay, I think that's one of them. Oh no, that's two of them. What's that shimmering thing? Okay, let's get that chain gun back into business. Um, good thing we have the red armor, I guess. I think I'm going to equip this again. And, uh, I guess we're going to go to Dimos now, right? I think that's how that works. So rockets come in stacks of 10. All right. <laughs> that's the Doom thing. Once you beat the big badasses. That's the text from that. Bulk mod pack. Um, bum bum. Should we mod this too? Or should we bulk mod the double shotgun? Let's try that. Okay, there's no bulk here. I don't know what that means, but... Okay. By the way, not the right music for the for the Dimos. The first Dimos level. We're in Sandy Peterson land. Although not really. Okay. Let's go back to our high power chain gun. I wonder if we could have bulk modded that. Probably not. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how the modding system works. Oh, now we got Hell Knights. So we're kinda Having Doom 2 monsters in our Doom 1 thingy. Okay, we can't go higher with Eagle Eye. Uh, what does this second level lets you sense monsters? Okay, this is kind of nice. I am going to do that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's good. This might be another Hell Knight. Yeah, there's going to be some Hell Knights around here. Hell Knight use a health pack. What shenanigans is this? Blinked away. Had a phase device. Ooh. Those are some crafty Hell Knights, folks. Okay. Don't remember that from Doom. Um, let's pick up the large med pack. Let's hexen it up. Or well, heretic it up, I guess. Okay. Uh huh. Another rocket launcher. Okay. Boom. That blew up a thing. Oh, hello. That's you. Nice. Okay, good. Let's pick up a little bit of ammo here. There's some more. I think the game does not just respawn enemies. Because uh, you can't you can't kill everybody on the floor. So 
And it actually tells you when you do that. So I think... Yeah. Uh-huh. Doesn't seem any more... Doesn't seem like there's any more monsters, especially because we can sense them. So I guess we're just gonna go down. Dimos level two. Here we go. Ooh. Jesus. Red armor is damaged. Red armor is very damaged. Okay. Yeah, we need to be careful. Red armor is completely destroyed. Okay. At least we didn't modify. <coughs> Whoopsie. At least we didn't modify it. Okay. Definitely have some cackles around here. Can hear them. Computer map, that's nice. Okay, there's a switch in there. Meditech Depot, okay. Nothing happens. Okay, I don't know what that does. Huh. Alright. Okay. Oh. I'm taking too much damage here. I don't, I'm not playing well. Okay, that's the face device. Technical mod pack. Can I use any? Yeah, can't, cannot do that. Okay. Um, can we use that on the armor? No. Do we use it on the double shotgun to have a better double shotgun? Yeah, why not? Oh, we can't, cannot use it on the double shotgun either. Okay. Well, maybe we can use it on something else at some point. Okay, let's blow this thing up over there. There's definitely an enemy. Okay, well, it's just a former human. Destroys walls. Okay. I mean, that's kind of useless, but why not? We should definitely, like, uh... The next run is definitely going to be on a higher difficulty. Again, I did not know how the game handles the difficulty settings, but like in terms of sort of, this is definitely not meant to be. Again, a lot of levers that just destroy walls. Okay. Oh no, do not want to do that. Let's do this. I mean, this is a fun little sort of. Again, you know, the classic idea of a coffee break roguelike that you just play for a little bit. Put this stuff up. Oh! There we go. You feel relatively safe now. Nice. Okay. You know, it's just kind of a nice little breezy play. And another Meditech Depot. I don't know what that means. Because nothing happens when I use it. Uh, okay. I guess we're just gonna keep going. And, uh, definitely higher difficulty. Oh, there's a big boy. Yeah. Pain elemental. What's that over there? Something is. Ooh. That blew up. Scream of a freed soul. I don't know what that was. Looks like a shotgunner, actually. Okay. Oop, that is a hit that I did not necessarily want to take. But such it goes. Okay, we definitely need to repair this thing. Oh yeah, now that I'm talking about it, there we go. Small med pack. What do we have? I think we're fine, but we can carry more stuff, so just gonna pick that up. Pretty happy with this high powered chain gun though. Alright, there we go, there we go. It's kind of kind of a stupid thing. Picking the easiest difficulty setting and then complaining that it is too easy is kind of a dumb thing to do. But you know, again, I am feeling my way into this game. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. 
Hey, buddy. Anybody else want, want some? Okay, here we go. There's another person here. Yeah, sort of big boy. Used a med pack. There we go. There we go. Alright. Let's pick up some of that ammo, because we're, we're kinda we're kinda chewing through a bunch of ammo here. Alright. The enemy, there's an enemy there that's just running around, but I don't, oh, it's just a former human, and uh, I got hit really badly. That was, that was not good, <laughs> that was not a good thing. Okay, uh, we got another red stairs, alright, and uh, anything else? Doesn't seem to be another enemy around, no? Okay, well, let me see. I'm going to use one of those small med packs. Do they give you 50%? I think so. Lead to the wall. You arrive at the wall. You feel uneasy. Okay, can go down. Oh, that does not sound good. Does the wall go down? No. Do we need to blow? Where's the rocket launcher? Let's just try it. Probably some folks behind that. Probably bad that I'm doing this. I should not be doing this, probably. Oh, Ooh, pretty thick wall. Okay, this seems to be the other side. Are we ready? Yes, I'll ever be. Shoot in this direction. Ooh. Why am I not shooting at you? Why am I so bad? Okay, this is horrendous. Okay. That was not good. I should not have survived this. Just standing in front of it and just <laughs> pressing the F button. That's how you play a roguelike. Okay. Ballistic blue armor is damaged. Okay. It's kind of... Hmm. Like with those ranged enemies, it's kind of tough to avoid damage. We should probably invest in dodging. Okay. Uh, use another small med pack. Ballistic blue armor at 25%. Assholes, where are you? Oh. Okay, we need to take off that armor because it's gonna be destroyed otherwise. Here we go, that's the level up. What was that? Uh, attack faster, hell runner. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's be faster. Let's be faster. I hope there's something good here. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, this ain't great. I'm just chewing through my med packs here. Let me use the rocket launcher. Oh, no, I am not playing well. The rocket launcher also doesn't really help. Okay, uh, there's something there. Looks like a backpack. Does that mean we can, that enables us to carry more stuff? Probably, right? Peace comes back to this evil place. Oh, and there's a missile launcher. Ooh, okay. We might make use of that thing. Let's just pick this stuff up. What does this do? Backpack. 
Don't know what that does. Probably means we can carry more. Oh, the stacks are larger. Okay, I get it. I get it. That's cool. Okay. Um, missile launcher. Should we drop the rocket launcher? Probably, right? Let's drop that. So. Ballistic blue oh my Christ. Okay. Missile launcher. Can we modify this? Yeah, the technical mod pack. Okay, cool. We might use that some. However, we need to unfortunately use another one of these. That took me a lot of that. That, that did a lot of damage. This definitely, like, this is not easy, right? Like, even on this difficulty, but it just feels weirdly breezy. Breezy, but not easy. Let's just blow everything up. Chain gun against these guys is probably better. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Plasma guy? Yeah, you have a plasma cannon. Okay. Plasma rifle. Peas through superior firepower. Okay. That might be a good weapon to have. We don't have any plasma ammo though. Be kind of careful about that. I'm also chewing through my chain gun ammo at kind of an alarming rate. Okay, that's another chain gun. Okay, there's another red stairs, which I'm not overly excited about, but we're gonna see. The berserked health globe, I'll take it. It's just a bunch of rooms here. Okay, is that combat shotgun? Yeah. That is, I believe, lava, so we're not gonna walk in there. Okay. Pick up that ammo. Definitely need it. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's just a piece of wall. Okay. A lot of stuff is blown up here. Ah, there's some plasma ammo. I mean, let's take it. Power battery. Sure. Can we try that thing? Plasma rifle. No more ammo for the plasma rifle. But I do have power battery. What is that for? Jewels of energetic fun. Can you only reload that after you've depleted it, maybe? I don't know. Okay, definitely does not work with the power battery. Okay. Is this a chainsaw? Okay, I guess that works. Um, and the high power chain gun again. I definitely need to find a piece of armor. This is not good. Like this one, for example. I mean, it's better than nothing. Okay. Okay, here. Relatively safe now. Nice, good. Okay, what I'm going to do here is we're going to equip the ballistic blue armor and we're going to repair it. And let's get the green armor back out. All right. Let's collect a bit of chain gun ammo. Okay, there's an Envio suit. We'll probably use that. It's probably a usable item to get across sort of nukage and, uh, and lava. Okay. okay. Where are the stairs? There are stairs. There were red stairs to the right, right? Yeah. Okay. Oop. Let's take the red stairs. Let's get ourselves killed. How about that? Let's go down. City made of bones. You sense a certain tension. Ooh, boy. Okay. Ooh, boy. There's a lot of folks in there. And there's a lever. <laughs> okay, should we do it? Mm, we should, right? If I die right here, that's fine. I do want to know what this is. 
Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a whole lot of enemies. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, are we gonna release them all at once? Oh, he's lost souls, okay. Oh dear, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Okay, we definitely... This is not the weapon to use here. We're gonna die! Nice! Cool! Uh, was going to advance to Lance Corporal skill rank and former human experience rank. I don't know what that means. Um, technician bronze badge, gatekeeper bronze badge, brick bronze badge. Okay. Alright. Show player. What are we doing? Difficulty achievements. I'm too young to die. Reach level 12. One death, 169 kills. Nice. Okay. To achieve imp rank, we need to kill 100 imps and we need to kill 10 enemies in melee. I see. So there's kind of like an achievement system. I don't know what the skill rank does, but quite uh, a total of six bronze badges. We have three out of six. Okay. What's that? Kills? Yeah. And on which difficulty? Okay. What's that? Victories, okay. I mean, it would probably make sense to try to get a victory on the on the lowest difficulty first. Oh yeah, and these are the bronze badges. Standard game under 30 minutes. We can go quick, huh? Clear out the anomaly, we did that. Brick is the wall, right? Yeah, discover an assembly. I don't know what that means. Oh no, that's just, yeah. Exotics, uniques. Oh, badges, gold badges. Ooh, yeah. Platinum badges. Yeah, there's a lot in here that you can do. Um, that's DRL or Doom RL. Uh, I'm going to stop the stream here. I might be back a little later and play some Zorbis or something. Depends. Um, but I just wanted to play this for a bit and uh, kind of get back into it. It's kind of a breezy thing. You can get into it pretty easily. Um, I never got... This game never hooked me, really, or like, like in a major way. I don't know, I don't know why, but uh, it still kind of doesn't. I like it. This is kind of a, a nice little breezy roguelike to just play for a little bit. But uh, yeah, I might check out Jupiter Hell at some point. So that could be a thing. This is not going to, I'm not going to do a whole series on Doom RL on this channel. I don't know. I might do an, I might play a little more on my own and do another video sort of, or like do another stream when I've played a bit of it and become a bit like more used to it, become a bit better at it. I don't know. Maybe I do that. Maybe I give it some more chances, but um, it's probably not going to be a larger series or anything. This is just like a one-off thing to just check back in with the Doom the Roguelike. So that's cool. Um, again, next streams is probably going to be Zorbis. And I definitely need to do the Case of Cat thing. Uh, that's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I just need to find the time. So such it is. Thanks for watching. Thank you for hanging out. And see you again next time. Bye bye. Nope. Okay. I need to end the stream, I, I can only do that by minimizing the game. See ya.